everybody, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's 3 Minute Thursday, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite purchases I've ever made, the Corona Razor Tooth Saw. So if you want to learn more about this saw and kind of how it compares to some of the big names out there, stay tuned. Alright guys and girls, welcome back. Um, as I mentioned today, I'm going to be talking about the Corona Razor Tooth Saw. Um, I actually picked this thing up from a local hardware store, a Lowe's I believe. Um, the nice thing about this, this saw is it has sort of a cult following online. Like there are a lot of people that I've seen on overlanding or camping or even just like bushcraft uh, pages and things like that that love this saw. And I think I know why, because now I've used it quite a bit. Um, it's got a little lock on the top here, which is kind of nice, so it's not just going to open up in your pack. Um, you push down on that, and then the blade pops out. So this is the overall size. I think it's about two feet long. Um, as you can see, though, from the tooth design here, it's meant to, it's a pull saw, okay? So when you pull back, that's when it's actually doing the cutting. The reason why that's important is a lot of saws, you know, not a lot of these folding saws per se, but a lot of just saws in general are push type saws in America. Um, overseas, I've heard that there are a lot more pull type saws. The thing about pull type saws is, one, you can make a much bigger, uh, much deeper cut with less effort, and two, uh, you also got less force going into the blade. So with a folding saw like this, you know, you're going to get a lot of flex in that blade. So if you, as you're pushing, you have less control and there's more likelihood that you're going to, you know, bend your blade. And I've actually had that happen. It's The saw's still fine, but you can maybe tell at the top there it's got a little bend to it. One time I actually compared, a buddy of mine had a, a, lap, a Baco Laplander saw, and uh, we said, okay, who can saw through this, you know, maybe four or five inch thick tree the quickest? So we started sawing as fast as we could, and, and I pushed down on it, and as I pushed down, it bent on me. And I was like, oh, crap, and I was so mad about it. But once I kind of learned that and figured out that it was a pull-type saw, then I started to focus more on the pull than the push. I didn't have any more bending issues, and uh, this thing just chewed through the wood. So that tooth design, it's kind of like a double tooth design, and they're actually hewn different ways. So each one, it alternates. Um, the way that the, that the saw blade is sharpened. Um, and that, as a result, again, makes it cut through stuff really fast, like surprisingly fast. Again, I mean, it's not a chainsaw, so you guys have probably seen my, my Black & Decker electronic chainsaw that I've got, electric chainsaw that I've got. I love that thing because there's no effort required, right? It's just... <laughs> You just hold a button basically and it does the work for you. However, this thing's a nice thing to have just on a backpack. When I've gone backpacking a few times and didn't want all the weight, obviously I'm not gonna carry a chainsaw with me. This thing's just on the side of my, my backpack for processing wood and stuff like that at camp, cutting up, you know, three, four, five inch thick down trees and things like that. This thing works pretty great. Um, so again, I just wanted to quickly touch on that. If you guys are looking for some sort of a folding saw, I think the Corona is a great option. Pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. I will throw a link down below. <clears throat> if so, I'll have to look it up, but I will throw a link down below for you guys. Again, I got mine at like a Lowe's or a Home Depot, about 17, 20 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, but again, it's one of the favorite things that I've ever ever had, and I've used it quite a bit. You, know, you may not be able to tell in the video, but it's pretty chipped up and dinged up. And like I said, I kind of bent the blade a little bit in that competition that I had. So anyways, I hope that's helpful for you guys. If you guys were thinking about saws or looking at saws, or if you guys are looking at Corona and, and maybe you just found this video because you wanted to see somebody with some real world uh, experience with it, I'd recommend this all. I think it's a great saw. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you don't already, feel free to click the subscribe button down here. Um, I put out weekly videos called 3 Minute Thursdays where I review camping gear and things like that. Um, also put out weekly podcasts slash vlogs. So just talking about overlanding, you know, car camping, travel in general. So yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button below. If you guys have some experience with this saw or if you guys like you know, the, the Baco Laplander or a different saw better, comment down below and let me know what you guys are using. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks again for watching. That's the end of it. I know I went over three minutes again, I'm sure, but I tried. Sorry, guys. Have a good one.
Bye.